to a simple practice. Every time you come to know about anything that's happened in the world, anything, don't get sucked into the energy of what has happened. Just pause, withdraw 10 seconds, radiate a blessing to them. Easy? 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 Two options, right? Either I can create a thought, how could she do this? Second, I can create a thought, poor he, she did this to him. Both the thoughts are. The other way of thinking is, God's powers and blessings for the one who did it, because they are also in pain, otherwise they would have never done anything wrong, and lots of love and blessings to the one on whom it was, inflicted. What will happen by doing this? One, I don't get entangled in creating wrong thoughts. And second, what do I send to the people involved? Send them healing energy. Whenever something happens, we all want to help. Right? We just heard in the movie, if there is a tsunami, if there is an earthquake, if there is a fire, what do we all do? It's our nature to care and to share. So what do we immediately do? What do they need? Let me send. Don't we do that? What do they need? Let me send. And what do we send? We send money. We send money. We send food packets. We send clothes. We send blankets. And along that we send worry and hurt and pain. Don't we send? Don't we send worry, hurt and pain? So now next time, only because we understand what's the right thought, we send money, we send food packets, we send clothes, we send blankets and along that we send lot of peace, power and love. Prayers. Blessings, not just in two minutes of prayers, but in every thought we create for them. Otherwise, those who are going through a turmoil receive a lot of negative energy of worry and anxiety from all over the world. Earlier, something happening in one country remained within only that one country. But now, because we spread so fast with information, which has its advantages and sometimes it does not, because one incident will circulate within five minutes to all over the world. So it's not just information which circulated, it which means energy got circulated. Now, within five minutes, everybody will be creating panic thoughts. And everybody believes that, how can I create a right thought when something so terrible has happened? The bigger the problem, the bigger the problem, the better my thought needs to be. Because more the pain, so more the healing to be sent. How many of us worry for our children? Everybody. We are all in everything. We are always everybody together. <laughs> and it's normal to worry, right? Create, well, give me one example of worrying for children. One example of a thought, worrying for children. Okay. So if my child has not reached home on time and phone is not reachable, so you create a thought that what if he's met with an accident? And it's normal to think like that, right? Normal to think like that? No? Then why does that thought come to me? And why do I create that thought? And what is the impact of creating that thought? So suppose she is my daughter, and it's 8 o'clock, she was supposed to come at 6 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock, she has not come home, phone is not reachable, I'm not being able to get through, and I sit there and say, what if she's met with an accident? What if she's met with an accident? What if something has happened to her? Is she injured? Is she terribly hurt? Is somebody there to help her? 
every thought. How many thoughts like this in 15 minutes? How many thoughts like this in 15 minutes? Now, what's the quality of the energy? Who am I sending it to? Right thinking? Give me an option. Can I create another thought? What's it? What's it? See, vibrations manifest. Vibrations reach people. We are creating wrong thoughts for the ones whom we claim to love the most. If you love someone, you will only send them the right things. You are a beautiful city which grows almonds and walnuts. You know in India, what does every mother do? Before the child leaves for the day, she gives them five almonds. Mandatory. It's mandatory. And we have been taught, panch badam subha subha khalo. Five almonds is what is needed for the right nourishment throughout the day. And every family, every mother is giving those five almonds soaked in the night. Early morning, she will remove the peel and before the child leaves for the day, five almonds. Hota ya nahi hota? And why do we get those five almonds from the mother early in the morning? Why five almonds early in the morning? Because that's your energy throughout the day. Five negative thoughts. Five negative thoughts. No. Parent means the one who will only and only create pure and powerful thoughts for their children because they nourish their child. They nurture their child. So child has not come home is a situation. Whether the situation is right or wrong, my thoughts should always be those which nourish and nurture and empower and protect. If I create a thought, what if she met with an accident? What if this happened to her? What if this? What? And there is no limit to going to the what if. People can visualize everything and come in five minutes. Yes? Yes? And what did I send to my child in those 10 minutes? What did I send? Opposite of blessings. I have sent opposite of blessings. Do I have a choice to send another kind of thought? Yes. Please give me my thought. What should I send to her? Give me a thought. What can I send to her? Specify the thought. The wrong thought was, what if she meets with an accident? Now give me the blessing that I should send to her. Very good. She is fine. She must have met a friend. Anything else? May God bless her. You know, we say may God bless her. But before God blesses her, I have to bless her. I cannot create all the wrong thoughts and then say, may God bless her. <laughs> my every thought has to be a blessing for her. And only when my every thought is a blessing for her, am I connected to the supreme power to radiate that blessing for her. And it's not, may God bless her. You say, God's blessings are always with her. May is an option. You want an option for your child? No, you want a... 100% certainty for your child. So radiate that in your thought. If I say, may God bless her, I'm telling him you have a choice, whether you want to, whether you don't want to, or whether you want to send it to someone else right now. May, no. God's blessings and protection and power are always with her. Absolutely, she is absolutely fine. She is stuck somewhere and nothing more than that. And she will be back home very soon. Is it possible to think like this? Yes? Then why are we thinking the other way? Power of blessings. 
What is the power of blessings? You know, when someone has a problem in their life, an obstacle, which they are able to overcome. So what does everybody say? You have lots of blessings. So blessings have the power to finish problems. And opposite of blessings will have the power to to create problems. So radiate so many blessings that even if your child is stuck somewhere, all your blessings, that energy, that pure powerful energy will bring them out of that problem. But nothing is wrong with her and we are sending her all the... So not a single thought which is not a blessing. My every thought for myself, for my family and for the world should be a blessing. So the world is a... The world is a... Let's create a thought for the world today. The world is a... The world is a peaceful place, yeah. And the world is a... The world is a beautiful place and the world is a... Let's create a thought, what we want the world to be and let's start radiating that blessing. And meditation means collectively radiating that blessing every day and shifting the world to become that way. Why is it that if my child is late, the thought of accident just pops up like this on the screen of my mind? Why? Because I have heard and read about accidents. Information creates thoughts. Whatever we watch, read and listen is what we think, speak and behave. So if I want to change what I'm thinking, I only have to take care of what I'm watching, reading and listening. Like the five almonds are nutrition for the body, what we watch, read and listen is the nutrition for the mind. So information is the raw material which creates the thoughts. So I cannot change my thoughts. I will have to check the information which is going there. If I read and watch too much about what's happening in the world and then I consume all that negative information from there, so will be my thought. If I have read and heard a lot about accidents, then when my child is late, what if she has met with an accident is not something that I have to make an effort, it just pops up. But if I had read the opposite, everything is perfect, we are all protected, nothing can go wrong with us. Then that's the thought which will pop up at that time. So thoughts get created based on information stored over a period of time. So why spirituality and meditation? Spirituality means watching, reading, listening, knowledge, spiritual knowledge, early morning, every day. So it's a completely different quality of a newspaper. And when I will watch, read and listen every morning, God is with me, I am protected, everything is fine, nothing can go wrong with me. I am a powerful soul, I can do everything I choose to do when I watch, read and listen that every morning and then my child is late, the thought of accident cannot even come there. It will just not happen. And even if someone comes up to me and says, oh, what if they met with an accident? We'll say, don't worry, nothing like that is going to happen. Can we shift from this to this? This is shifting from disease to, to health by changing the nutrition. Anyone can experiment this for three months. Change your emotional diet. Change what you are consuming early morning. And that's why at the Brahma Kumaris, we are 
8,500 centers today in over 140 countries. People from all walks of life, like you saw in the movie, all religions or nationalities coming together at the center for 45 minutes, an hour every day for two things. One, to absorbing spiritual information and which means information of peace, love and compassion and for meditation. Two things, 45 minutes, hour, that's all. Daily nourishment. That is our five amens for the mind. Kurak, diet, emotional health. And once we start doing that on a daily basis, it's not just child coming late, it can be any, 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 any crisis in life. It can be anything that happens. The mind just does not know how to create a wrong thought. Why is it not able to create the wrong thought? Because it's not absorbed the wrong information. It's like the water may change, the air may change outside, but you just don't fall ill. Is that possible? Yes. Why? Because you have taken care of your because you have taken care of your physical health. So your health is not dependent on, it's not dependent on the weather outside. Your health was created by you, by giving time to yourself every day. But if I don't eat good food every day, I don't exercise and I just say, I don't have time to exercise daily. And I just grab whatever I get and eat and I run to work. Then my physical immunity system is. And then slight shift in the weather. And I'm sneezing and coughing and cool. Everybody else is fine. But I'm falling ill. Why? Because I had not made the effort to take care of my body. Similarly, we've not taken the effort to make strengthen the mind and then slight shift in the world, slight shift in the situations of my life and I create pain, hurt, resentment and when I create that I fall ill all over again and again and again and then my emotional immunity system going low and when my emotional health is weak my mental health gets affected and when my emotional and mental health gets affected my physical health gets affected. And when all this is affected, my relationships are affected, my social health is affected. Everything is happening from here. And we say, I don't have time to take care of this. Do we have time? Do we have time? Should we take out the time? Should we? Why? Because it is this which is going to do everything. It's like the phone which is doing so much for us. We can use it for so many things, only and only when it's charged. So I hold my phone and I say, wow, I have the latest model of the phone. I can talk, I can message, I can listen to music, I can email, I can book my tickets, I can shop, I can do everything with the phone. But I can do everything with the phone only when it is charged. Similarly, my mind, it nurtures my feelings, it nurtures my body, it creates my relationship, it creates beautiful halls like this, it does all the miracles of the world only when it is charged. And if not, if the mind is not charged, then I say depression is normal, then I say divorce is normal, then I say disease is normal. Everything which is not right has got labeled as normal. And then we say the world is in a mess. The world is in a mess only because we said we didn't have time to charge ourselves. We didn't have time to heal the wounds. We didn't have time to gently sit and teach the mind, this is not the right thought, this is the right thought. Like we teach a baby, this is not the right word, this is the right word. And the child will again say the wrong word and again we'll say, no, 
this is not the right word, this is the right word. And how much time does it take a child to learn the words and the vocabulary and a complete language? But we only taught them the language, we didn't teach them how to think. So half in our daily just for that. And when we say to ourselves, I don't have time, we only are short of time because most of the time we are creating a wrong thought. And a wrong thought leads to a series of thoughts. Mm -hmm.